Hello, welcome to the A to Z YouTube channel. My name is Toby Allen, the A in the A to Z, and I'm in charge of producing, engineering, and songwriting in whichever order you like. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the brand new amp sim from ML Sound Lab. Anyone who knows me knows I love two things. Well, I love lots of things, but there's two things in particular that I'm thinking of right now that I really love, and those are Orange Amps and ML Sound Lab. And now that we've finally got both of them together with the ML Sound Lab Amped Oracle, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly excited. When ML first brought out an amp sim in 2020, they brought out the Roots, which is the fluff signature. Uh, I absolutely love, fell in love with it straight away. I think it might actually be the first amp sim I actually bought because before that, I was using STL Emissary and I was using uh, THU, which came with the Slate subscription. And I was also using JST Misha, which I was given a copy uh, to make a demo video on my other channel back in the day. Uh, so this is actually the, f that was that was ML Sound Lab Amped Roots was the first amp sim I ever bought. And I was really, really hoping that the next one they brought out would be an orange, which it wasn't. And then the next one, after the next one came out, I was like, hopefully the next one will be an orange. And then it kind of carried on every time, like, I really hope the next one's an orange. So we finally have one almost three years later. Uh, and we're going to be trying. I'm going to be trying out. This is uh, my reaction to the Amp Sim live. I haven't actually had a chance to try it yet. So we are literally experiencing, you're going to be experiencing this with me for the first time. I'm going to be trying the built-in cabs first off and the presets. We're then going to be cheering out with the IR, which I really like from Bogren, which is the Vikings. And that's the same one I used on the previous Amp Sim review from Amp Hub, the Serpent Queen. And I'm going to be using the same IR on subsequent Amp in reviews so you can very easily get some consistency across the different videos and you can actually compare them back to back hear how they sound so let's check it out all right so here is how it sounds straight out of the box <laughs> So yeah, that sounds amazing. Let's just very quickly go through the features of the amp sim and then we'll have a, a more playing around with the tones. So first off, you've got the uh, actual face of the head itself. Then we've also got the tuner, which I've just used to tune up. We've got a pedal board with noise gate, compressor, drive, chorus, delay, and reverb. Currently we have just the noise gate on. There's also a 3D cab which is really cool because you can drag the mics around, you can drag them backwards and forwards, and if you use your scroll wheel or around two fingers on a trackpad, then you can change the angle as well. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and then you see them over here. And you can change the mix between the two. You can bypass the cab section or load up your own custom IR. Then we have MIDI setup. So you can control all of the functions from MIDI and then license manager. So there's also a button here to turn Vorna on and off. So if you're running, if I was running this on my on my MacBook Air, I would probably turn the Vorna off so as to save some CPU. But uh, yeah, this, we're just running fine on this computer. Then also we've got two amps, we've got dirty and clean. So it's essentially your, your two channels that you have on the rocker verb. Um, there's a few presets as well. So let's have a quick listen to those presets. We have modern rock. <laughs> Stone Rock. <laughs> nice 
nice little bit of fuzz happening there. And let's just see what the pedal board's doing. So nothing on the pedal board. That is literally just the amp. So um, that is sick. And then boosted metal. <laughs> Yeah, that's got the drive on. Classic rock. Shred. That's quite cool. My Orange Dark Terror is my go-to for leads. I really, really like uh, plumes into the Dark Terror into a cream back with a 57, and that's basically my go-to for guitar solos and leads. Um, it doesn't always do the trick, but it is my favorite for that. So this kind of nails that kind of sound. It's really cool. So the clean, that's kind of a fluff clean. <laughs> Pristine clean. And then we've got thick chorus clean. Gritty slapback clean. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Lost in space. Yeah, I like that. Lots and lots of reverb. Like you, I can imagine that working as kind of leads on kind of genty kind of stuff. Irish delay clean. That's U2, uh, isn't it? If you haven't seen the, the video where Bill Bailey takes the mickey out of the edge and his delay pedal, then go watch that because that is hilarious. Right, so let's get back to the dirty channel. We're going to change the cab over to my favourite. Let's, uh, let's just play with just the amp for now. I mean, that sounds amazing and that's almost everything on noon. So I'm gonna just give it a little bit more of everything. When I'm dialing in my dark terror, I tend to put the dials at six, six, and six, which seems to be for some reason the, the ultimate place to put those knobs. And it just, that's like the best place for them to begin with. And then I kind of dial in afterwards. So I'm just gonna do basically the same thing here. <laughs> There's a really nice upper mid kind of bark that I'm just like, oh. That's, that is the orange sound, that bark. All right, let's bring in the overdrive pedal and also the noise gate. And we're gonna do the usual thing. We'll stick the tone up, we'll stick the drive down and the level up. Oh, that is thick. A bit more gain. Let's go a little bit more gain. Come on, let's. Everybody. Thank you. 
I am thoroughly impressed. Um, that is absolutely delicious. I, uh, I'm gonna have to do some more messing around and digging and obviously this is before I recorded the demo track which is at the start of this so I will take some time to really dial in exactly how I want that to sound um, and also uh, there was no post processing or anything on that video at the start which I haven't made yet so <laughs> but you've heard through the power of time travel and video editing anyway I really really like this and I'm thoroughly impressed and definitely recommend it. I feel like the three years I've been waiting for Miko to make this are worth it because this has surpassed my expectations of what an orange amp sim should sound like. But there's just something about this one. It's just, ooh, just crispy and crunchy and chewy. Yeah, this is, this is, yeah. I, mean, I think I'm gonna use this one a lot. <laughs> You're probably getting sick of me saying I love everything I try. Um, I swear I'm not that easy to please. I just only make videos of stuff I like. If I get sent st something or I try something out and I don't like it, I don't bother making a video because I'm not in the business of trying to be negative and trying to bring people down uh, for their with their hard work because people the people who make these sims they work really hard to make them um so the last thing i want to do is make someone feel bad about all that hard work they put in by saying that something is absolutely crap but this this is great and yeah i i recommend it so uh miko you are a genius and a wizard and kai god bless you thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed watching this, uh, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe and all the fun YouTube algorithm stuff that uh, helps the channel. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much. If you've got any thoughts on this amp sim, then drop a comment below. Tell me what you think. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you think orange amps are stupid? Do you think orange amps are the best? Um, and I will reply and tell you how you're wrong or right. <laughs> uh, and if, you'd, if there's anything else that you think I should try out or check out, then by all means, put that in the comment section as well. And if it's possible, I will see if I can get it on the channel and we'll have a play with it. So thank you very much and we'll see you next time.